Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Michigan once again with the, uh, well, what has become the saga of Eric Martin, that solved card who uh, just doesn't seem to get that, uh, well, the arguments that he has don't really work in an actual courtroom. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and find out what this idiot has to say this time. All right, the court will call the case of the state of Michigan versus Eric Martin, case number 23S00425. Rachel McDuffie for the people. Mr. Eric Martin, please unmute your device. Well, and state your name. Can you hear me? I can now, sir. Capital E, lowercase R I C of the capital M, lowercase A R T I N family, a living sovereign, one of the people. Are you stupid or something? Come on now, dude. All caps, low, no caps, whatever. You do realize it just all comes down to formatting, and uh, all caps names don't exactly mean that something is a corporate entity. Hell, I was going down the road the other day, and I saw street names that had all caps in them. So does that mean that street is a uh, corporate entity? Most likely not. Not to mention the fact that I've seen plenty of corporations out there that don't exactly have all caps for their uh, corporation name. I mean, you might want to uh, think about these things. I mean, actually go out in the real world and look, really look. But of course, you're not going to do that because you're too blinded by your own stupidity to even see beyond that kind of thing. Assistant Public Defender Don B. Lebo as standby counsel. Thank you. We're here for a pretrial today. And a bench warrant is still outstanding for Mr. Martin. That's correct, Your Honor. As it relates to the pretrial, uh, I believe the last time that we saw Mr. Martin, it was on December 7th. And he had some difficulty viewing the video that we had sent via flash drive. I encouraged him to get with his standby counsel, who at that time was APD Sandra White. Uh, he did not appear at that next hearing, but she did confirm that they had spoken um, almost every day and um, that he they had reviewed the video. So my understanding is that Mr. Martin has been able to view the complete discovery, including all of the media. Um, I know that we were headed to a jury trial, so... Um, I will leave it to Mr. Martin to um, confirm that so we can get going with selection. Mr. Martin? Yeah, I looked at the video uh, and I found a, uh, yeah, I looked at the video and I also found some uh, demands uh, to dismiss some self incrimination based on the video along with some others that have not been decided on, um, which uh, should be decided on before any trial schedule or anything else. Mr. Martin, I've decided on all the motions that you've brought before me. And the way this works is if I make a motion ruling, then the party making that motion has to prepare the order. So when you complain about no orders being prepared, that's your not preparing them, sir. I mean, I, 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 think, I think my words were very clear. I understand what you're saying. You're saying because I didn't file it as a motion or something? What are you saying? Well, uh, soft heart, uh, it seems like that uh, you are the one that's at fault for this. I mean, she's given you very clear instructions on how to file motions, and clearly you did not follow those instructions to the letter so therefore yeah it's your fault that those uh quote uh 
orders of yours didn't get through. So, dude, you should have hired Will. I hate to keep saying this over and over again, but you should have hired somebody competent enough to defend you. You know, uh, somebody who's been trained in the law, not the kind of law that you think exists, but the actual law. So that way they could come in, help you, and try to get you off the hook. But I did might be too late by now. Might be. I'm saying that I already ruled on them. So when I rule on them, it's up to the party to prepare them. That's you. I did prepare them specifically. My demand to dismiss. You prepared, them. sir. You did not prepare my ruling order, which was that they are denied. I mean, they're they're denied, but you didn't rule on it. How does okay. that happen? Do you have anything else? You yes, Miss McDuffie. <laughs> I'm sorry, Your Honor. I did just want to clarify one point because Mr. Martin, I think, um, mentioned that he had um, he wanted to move to dismiss based on incriminating statements after he had reviewed the video. So I don't know if there's a sort of Miranda issue he's raising or not, but I would just, um, I guess for the record, remind Mr. Martin that when he appeared for the hearing on the five documents that he filed, demands, motions, whatever you want to call those, um, Mr. Martin, during that hearing, uh, rattled off the fact that he did not have a valid license, his vehicle wasn't registered, and he didn't have insurance and didn't feel like he needed to do any of those things. So if there are any incriminating statements that would relate to the counts in this case, he has made them multiple times, including on the record, in this court at his own hearing. So if any statements were suppressed from that media, they would still come in from statements he's made in court. He chose poorly. Perhaps you should have uh, exercised your Fifth Amendment rights because this is a perfect example of anything that you uh, say can and will be used against you in a court of law. So, dude, your words are coming back to haunt you, and uh, you have no defense for that at all. So this should be a piece of cake for the prosecution once it finally makes it to trial, that is. Well, I object to the decision when it's self-incriminating. Uh, as I pointed out, state in my demands are dismissed. As the U.S. Supreme Court said, that uh, license ain't necessary. You're not using the streets for profit, which the cops have no evidence. Mr. Martin, you're, need, you're gonna need to speak up if you want to have a transcript of this because it's not. I'm speaking Let's up. See. Let's see how they're okay. Can you can you bring the microphone closer to you, Mr. Martin? Yeah, let me see. I'm sorry. Is it kind of a little closer now. How's that? Is that any better? How's that? How's that? Yeah, please keep talking in the same volume that you're using right now so we can hear it. Well, I object to what she just said about I made some self-incriminating statements. That's not true because as I pointed out in my demands to dismiss, the law is in my favor, the higher supreme law, such as the statute, which is supreme law of the land under Article 6 of the U.S. Constitution, federal statutes override state statutes, along with the Packer versus Banton case I uh, cited and sent a uh, quote from the law book uh, on that clearly said from the U.S. Supreme Court that the people have a right to use the roads, not a privileged right. And uh, as long as you're not using the streets for profit, which I wasn't doing, and there was no evidence, and the cops have no evidence of that. So I was exercising my right to travel, didn't need a license, insurance, registration, none of that. Yeah, I'm going to need a citation on all those Supreme Court rulings that you claim to exist. And in addition, uh, Stop making it so easy for the prosecution because you keep on incriminating yourself in this uh, hearing, which this is part of the process, and this will come back to bite you in the ass later on because this is definitely on the record, and the prosecution can definitely go back and use this against you later on, you lead paint chip eating, uh, gibbering moron. So uh, nothing self incriminating about what I say. There's no legit case here, and uh, which is why I beat a, a case on the same exact issue in Southgate. Same exact issue. Prosecutor moved to dismiss it because they know they had they had to win the case.
the higher law is in my favor. The state law is unconstitutional. That's assuming everyone's driving the motor vehicle when they're not. And I'm working to change that state law. I'm going to. I already got a federal lawsuit filed on it in the Detroit courthouse on Lafayette Boulevard. Right now, I got to fight one about filing fees. But when I overcome that, they'll be, they'll be deciding on the merits. And uh, I will be winning on that issue. And the state law will be changed. Uh huh. And let me know when Elvis gets here. It's going to stop making the presumption the state statute law that everyone's driving a motor vehicle, even when it's not for profit. See, that's the problem with the state law. It's unconstitutional. Cops are, cops are blindly following that, acting as if that, and then the so-called courts are acting on that presumption. No, everyone's driving a motor vehicle. They need a license insurance. Well, no, they don't. They're not doing it for profit. They're exercising the right to travel. So you're going to stop this. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Martin. Since Mr. Martin has, again, um, made those same statements that I referred to earlier, and this prosecutor will not be dismissing anything in this case, we will be proceeding to trial if he doesn't want to plead to it. Um, let me ask the court if I could. Um, are we ready to set this? I understand he has a desire to file an endless amount of lawsuits and grievances and motions, but the court has indicated we are past that point. Are we ready to set this case for jury selection or no? Yes, we are. Thank you. All right, any motion that was just made, whatever he's entitling that is denied. Well, how do um, you, so you deny something, you don't even know what it is. But anyways, you still have, there, there's still demands uh, to dismiss that haven't been ruled on as a matter of law, which what a lot of them are, such as the state as a party, I filed a demand to dismiss because the state is the party here. Thank you. The state in, in this court, so-called court has no jurisdiction as indicated, as I indicated in the uh, in my demand under the U.S. Constitution, only the sir, U.S. Sir, I'm not hearing those motions again. On October 26, I made a ruling on all of those motions, and you have not prepared the the order to that effect. We're done with those motions. You see the order? Is that the no. major selection, Your Honor? Or no, no, it's not. We're going to do a July 25th uh, jury, uh, July 25th final settlement conference. Mm -hmm. Okay. August 9th. July 25th, 2024. Hold on, let me uh, write this down here. And I'm also going to make a, a demand right now for a compensation also for this uh, making me proceed against my will under threatened arrest to these so called court proceedings. Uh, in violation of my 13th Amendment right against slavery. Yeah, dude, have you even bothered to read the 13th Amendment? Well, here we go. 13th Amendment, Section 1. Neither slavery, neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, except as punishment for a crime whereof the party shall have been duly convicted, shall exist within the United States or any place subject to their jurisdiction. So, yeah, uh, you, if you are convicted of a crime, they can most certainly imprison you. So, uh, using the 13th Amendment uh, for the slavery clause is not exactly going to hold water for you because, well, you didn't read the whole thing. Just like any other soft art out there, you failed to do your due diligence and uh, do your full bit of research. Congratulations, dude. You are now king of the morons. So take a bow. Uh, but unfortunately, there's no prize involved. So yeah, it's just an honorary title. Um, all these court proceedings are against my right against slavery. So I'm entitled to compensation for, uh, for all the uh, court proceedings that I had to uh, make in this case. Otherwise... <laughs> Possibly been arrested. It was only under threatened arrest. It wasn't by willingly. Mr. Martin knows that the jury selection is in person, correct? I haven't finished telling him all of that yet. I'm getting the dates. I'm okay. going to tell him in just one second. Mm -hmm. All right. The uh, final settlement conference in this case is going to be on July 25th, 2024 at 11 a.m. And that is on Zoom. The August 9th Jury selection is in person, and that's at 8.30 a.m. on August 9th. Hold on. July 25th, 24, right? 8 p.m. a.m., you said, right? It's at 11 a.m., sir. Yeah. 
you know, I want to be understood. I'm not um, willingly giving up my right to be one of the sovereign people and uh, by this jury, but you know. Jury selection is August 9th, 2024 at 8.30 a.m. You said 24th? It's at 8.30 a.m. I meant to say 8.30 a.m. You said the 24th now or you say the 25th? August 9th, 2024 at 8.30 a.m. is the jury selection, sir. I thought you just said July, I mean, uh, 7 25 24. That is the final settlement conference. That is on Zoom. Hold on, I got a, one thing at a time. Okay, now, now let's do the, uh, what's the other date now, August? What else? August 9th. Okay. At 8.30. Okay. 8.30, and what's that considered, uh, what's that called there? Jury selection, sir. Now, is it, which is in person here now? The, the 725-24, is that something I have to be there in person for? I'm being- For the fourth time, time Mr. There. Martin, please listen. The first event, which is in July, is on Zoom. The last event is in person. We well, got it. Well, we're saying a whole bunch of work, you know. All right, we're yeah, done today. Have a good day, Mr. Martin. Bye-bye. <laughs> Gee, you kept on running your damn soft, hard mouth, and the judge just shut it right down. Because you know what? She doesn't have time for your BS. Uh, but unfortunately, she'll have to make time for it later on in the next few months when you do have that last conference and then the jury selection, which will be in person. And uh, if you don't show up, I am sure that they can compel you to do so. So, yeah, you might want to keep that in mind. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?